welcome back to the channel everybody we're outside today in the cold it's uh it's winter time and uh for us car folks that means taking your nice cars and storing them for the winter if you live where most of the people in the country live you know it gets cold and salty and we don't like to drive our cars in it so i'm with my buddy john today and uh he's got a problem that a lot of you guys might run across when you're storing your vehicle and that is uh mice unfortunately you know you can you can take your car you can clean it up real nice before you put it away you can get a nice car cover you can you know put it up on jack stands to keep flat spots out of tires you can put it in a nice warm garage but there's not really anything you can do 100 percent that's going to keep mice out of it you know it's got a nice cozy interior and mice love to live in, in stored cars you know ones you drive every day usually not too big of a problem but when you park a car for a while you know it, it can get mice in it and unfortunately for my buddy john he's been dealing with this problem for at least months now john's tried everything man he's done uh he's done mouse traps he's done uh poison bait he bought an ultrasonic uh thing that's supposed to the sound supposed to turn he's put mothballs in it he's tried everything and uh he's still got mice in the car so uh you know i looked all over the internet try to find you know i felt any kind of car guy, man, you feel bad. You got you got mice in your car, pissing, pooping, doing other things, <laughs> um, <laughs> reproducing. You know, you got a uh, yeah. They can chew on wires. They can cause a lot of headaches. And uh, I mean, I try to I try to help my buddy John out. You know, and I I really didn't find anything he wasn't already doing. And I kind of put on my thinking cap, and I think I come up with a solution to his car problem. I think. Without a doubt, this will 100% keep mice out of your car when you store them for the winter or any other time of the year. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you that now. All right, so here's John's car. It's a uh, 85 Monte Carlo. It's uh, it's actually his most prized possession. Uh, he first drove it when he first got his license. It was actually his grandma bought it new. And when she passed, uh, he got a hold of it. And... Uh, it's it's his most prized possession, which makes it that much horrible to uh, to know what's been going through. He, him, him and his grandma for the last thirty years have, you know, really made sure they kept the interior nice and clean and everything. And now he can't even sit it, man, because of allergies from all the mice, whatever that's in there. And it's it's sad, really. But we're gonna try to uh, stop it right now, and then he can. It's still you can tell it's clean, but uh. You can see the mouse trap he got down there. He's got a repellent in there. He's got everything. I mean, but there's there's still mice. He uh he got the back seat out. And uh he's gonna have to you can see a baited another baited trap back there. Uh and he's trying, but it's not working. This is a clean car too. You don't you know not many of these old G bodies, not up where we live around here around Cincinnati. Uh you know rust free and everything like this one is so uh so here's our solution that i come up with uh it's pretty easy you get a few jack stands uh you know he uses his to work on his car so we got an extra set to keep this one in storage we went to harbor freight you know we spent 50 bucks on four jack stands and uh i went over to ace hardware i got these buckets they were like eight bucks it's a five gallon bucket uh i modified them a little bit i'll show you how to do that so it's pretty simple we got this we're gonna put that put the jack stand in it put the car on the jack stand the only thing that's gonna touch the ground is this bucket you know my uh, my brother he used to have snakes and we used to throw mice in five gallon buckets and it's, they can't climb out of them they're too smooth and if, if this is the only thing touching the ground and his tires drop off the ground you know high enough where they can't reach it there's no way a mouse can get in this car. It's, you know, unless they, you know, grab a stick out of the yard and learn how to pull volt, you know, it's, it's not going to happen. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'll come up with this just trying to figure it out for them. And I think it's a pretty good idea. And uh, you could probably do it too. And, uh, you know, have peace of mind that you're not going to have mice in your car. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing jacked up and uh, get her up in the air and uh, prevent this problem and then the mice that are in his car they're gonna have to come out you know to get food or whatever they, they come out and get food and they come back in and and feed their whatever they got in there and uh when they come out for food they're not gonna be able to get back in so uh 
I think it's gonna work out pretty good. So this is pretty simple. I got this cheap bucket from the hardware store. I got this cheap jack stand from Harbor Freight. Put the jack stand in the bucket. If you imagine this being under the car, you know, if this is like the axle on like the bottom of the car, that's uh, the back of the car, you know, there might be like a shock mount or something. I think the top of this bucket might kind of be in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut it down just to like this level right here. And it'll end up looking like this. So, uh, I think I'll help kind of clear, if, you know, or the, I'm sure there's stuff around whatever's gonna rest on here. I'm probably just gonna do the control arms and the rear axle. But I wanted this a little bit later. This is still way too tall for a mouse to even begin to climb on. And then uh, my buddy John, he's uh, he's his car's outside on gravel. So I went ahead and I put a couple holes in the bottom. That way this whole thing don't fill with water while it's sitting out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this lip off here and uh, drill the holes. And then we'll take this stuff over to Hugh, uh, his mom's house and uh, get his car all set up so his nightmare can stop. Takes a few seconds. That should be the finished product there. Mass proof. All right, guys. So we kind of ran out of daylight. I got a pretty decent little light here. So this is kind of the end result here. Them tires are pretty high off the ground. You have to be super mass to get a hold of that tire. And the buckets aren't an option for you because they're too damn smooth. So you're pretty much out of luck if you want to live in a scar. I'll give you a shot of the front here. So yeah, it worked out pretty good. So that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more stuff here. Hopefully this helps a lot of people. I know a lot of people got problems with mice. I've had a mice in a car before. And it's like it's like every car guy's like worst nightmare. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. And I will catch you guys next time.